Hey, Zips fans, Chad Welker here with the Zips Digital Network. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Had an opportunity to talk with Coach Gross about the games against Ball State and Toledo this past week, and he previews the upcoming matches against Kent State and Ohio. Yeah, sure. Two completely different games, Ball State and Toledo. Obviously, I thought our defense was really on point uh, on, on the Saturday game when we played Ball State. Uh, our details were really good. Thought we got back and got our defense set. Thought we were disciplined in the half court. Did a nice job on the backboard. You know, then you go to the Toledo game, and we're obviously defending at that point in time the 10th rated uh, offense in the country, number one in our league. And we knew we were going to have to be as detailed, if not more so, than what we were even in the Ball State game, and we just weren't. And uh, gave up 91 points. And, you know, Chad, when you give up 91 points in any game, certainly on the road, you know, that you're not going to win very often. So we just, you know, tied it at 61 with about 10 to go. And then we just, the next four or five minutes uh, where they were able to get the score back to 73-63 and, and uh, build another double-digit lead, I thought that was really the difference in that uh, Toledo game. From the individual uh, performance standpoint over those two games, Lauren Christian Jackson back to his 30-plus ways on Tuesday night. Uh, anyone else uh, that you think is kind of standing uh, ahead of everybody uh, on, on your squad right now? Yeah, I think the beauty of our team is that uh, with the consistency of C-Jack, which you just mentioned, you know, we had a great uh, offensive game on Tuesday night. You know, we've had different guys really um, contribute and have great games, and it's, it seems like a different guy or a different set of guys almost every night. I think that's been the way that we've, uh, you know, really moved forward with our strength and numbers approach. I mean, it's been good to see. I don't think necessarily any one player – um, stands out to me. I think guys have made a lot of improvement. You know, unfortunately in the Toledo game, other than C-Jack and Brian Trimble being in double figures, we really didn't have, Cam was close with nine points and eight rebounds, but we just didn't get enough uh, versatility in our offensive contributions that night like we had been during the six-game winning streak. So, you know, hopefully we get back to doing that um, as we get ready to tackle Kent State. You just mentioned it, Kent State tomorrow at 7 p.m., rivalry game, and then you got OU uh, down in Athens next Tuesday night, both on national television. Uh, I know we've talked about being on national TV, but uh, just talk about those next two opponents since you've already seen them earlier in the year. Yeah, no, it's, it's a great stretch for us because obviously, you know, you typically don't see four in a row on the road. Uh, obviously, in this COVID environment that we've been in, it's, uh, you know, moved games around quite a bit. And so it's a, it's a tremendous challenge to be road warriors. Uh, we started off, obviously, playing the number one team in the league on the road. And then we got the next three we've been picked to play on, you know, national television. Uh, three in a row uh, after the Toledo game. We go right in a row with Kent State, Ohio, and Miami. So tremendous opportunity. It's a blessing and privilege to be able to compete, you know, any night at this point. Um, yeah, obviously, there's, you know, Taylor Curry had mentioned, you know, his brother, he playing the game uh, tomorrow night against Kent for his brother because they haven't been able to have a season uh, up in Michigan where he's from. So to be grateful is certainly what we tried to teach our players, but especially during this stretch where we get an opportunity, earn the right to be on national television three straight times. Um, you know, obviously it starts with Kent and a great rivalry game. I've always said this about this game. You can throw the records out the window. This is about toughness. It's about players making plays. It's about who makes, who plays the best that night. Um, a lot of energy, a lot of physicality uh, anytime there's a Kent Akron game and we're looking forward to competing in it. And then, like you said, we get a chance to go to Ohio this next week and play against one of the country's best point guards. We believe we have one of the best ourselves. And I believe there's three or four of those guys in our league, not just conference-wise, but nationally that are up there amongst the best, which is what makes it so challenging. We'll certainly see that on Tuesday in Athens with Jason Preston. But, you know, Dwight Wilson's been terrific for them with double-doubles and has really uh, grown into his role and has been very consistent uh, earning and producing double-doubles. So he's a load inside. Vanderplas is a great player, and uh, they've got good shooting and good personnel around them with McDay and Roderick as well. And uh, the development of Sears with Preston out has been a big thing. So, But first, we've got to tackle Kent, right, and their size with Pippen, uh, Beck, uh, and, and Hamilton inside. They play a very non-traditional lineup these days relatively speaking what I mean by that is you have Hamilton at 6'10 6'11 you have Pippen at 6'9 6'10 and now their three-man Beck for the majority of his career has played the five and the four and now they've moved him to the three so they're enormous uh, biggest concern with the Kent game certainly is the backboard it always is even more so now being that they're so big inside you know so we're gonna have to really gang rebound it uh, you know if we expect to have a chance to win the game
Thanks, Coach. The next two contests will be nationally televised. First, Friday night, 7 p.m. against Kent State on ESPNU. Tuesday night, 7 p.m. on the CBS Sports Network. For the Zips Digital Network, this is Chad Welker. Have a great rest of your week. Have a wonderful weekend, and as always, go Zips.